Hey guys, I've had a few people ask about what's it like out here at the Sacramento River Bend and I have posted countless pictures to my Instagram account over the years and run thousands of miles out here. Um, this is the first time I've ever um, actually created a video out here to kind of show you what this place is at and I hope that in this short brief video it, it kind of captures the essence of that for those that are interested. And also we're doing our first overnight for our PCT prep and taking our entire gear load out both worn and carried and uh, gonna find out what works what doesn't what we'd like to refine and uh, yeah should be a good use of our time so I hope you guys enjoy stick around more to follow The Sacramento River Bend Outstanding Natural Area is public land administered by the Bureau of Land Management and it's comprised of 17,000 acres just northeast of the city of Red Bluff along the Sacramento River. I've spent years out there exploring this property and one of the things I'm most attracted to is its unspoiled nature where I usually find very few others and on most days it feels as though the trails are there just for me. I decided to give the sun umbrellas a go. Um, it's not really all that necessary. It's probably, it's over 80 degrees today, so it is a little bit warm out here, but we got a nice light breeze, so still remaining fairly cool. Um, but just kind of want to see how they perform. It's actually a little bit windy today, um, probably three to five miles an hour gusting to, I don't know, 10 to 15, something like that. And they're, I've got them secured pretty well. They seem to be holding up good, so that's nice. But they definitely cut down um, the sun exposure noticeably, and um, yeah, pretty happy with that so far. There's a Lassen Peak right there. If we swing around, it's Mount Shasta. Pretty clear day. That's been a pretty good day of hiking. We are going to stop it. Uh, one of the very few uh, established campsites out here at the BLM uh, in Red Bluff. It's called Massacre Flat. It's a, kind of a primitive campsite down by the river. Um, should be well and sheltered from the wind, so we're going to go ahead and set up camp there this evening. But uh, um, check back in with you here shortly. to Massacre Flat. Um, should give us about 12 miles on the day. Um, yeah, it's a really nice little spot. I've run to this many times and always thought that it would be cool to, to camp out here. So that's what the plan is for this evening. Um, got a little pit toilet over here, a few fire rings and, you know, easy access to 
getting down to the river. We just need to figure out where we're going to set up our camp for the evening. Some stuff we dehydrated up. Um, this is a shepherd's pie. And we got the uh, ground turkey with dehydrated vegetables, some brown gravy powder in there, and some instant mashed potatoes. So we'll see how that goes. And then I'm going to be having, this is uh, spaghetti. It's made with uh, ground turkey. So we're going to give that a go, see what it's like. It's been rehydrating for about 20 minutes, I guess. And it's uh, home cooking. Hot, too. Um, let's see what we got over here. Here's the shepherd's pie. This is uh, Yeah, that's uh that's gonna work. Gonna have to let me know how that tastes. Stir it up a good bit. There's still stuff at the bottom there. It's hot. Oh yeah, it's hot. <laughs> Homemade shepherd's pie. Mm -hmm. Give it a go. It's good. Yeah, nice. Very hot though. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's an inner time. Okay. How'd you sleep, Rebecca? Less than fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> oh man, I slept pretty good actually. I know. That was awesome. Now we're gonna have some coffee. You see that right there? Oh yeah, a little Starbucks via on tap. I think that's it. Pretty massive, uh, massive gear explosion up in here. But did you put yours in? It's gonna be a nice sunny day. No, I haven't. I haven't put mine in yet. Having a bit of the coffee. Pretty nice morning out here. Um, not sure what it got down to last night. I think it got down into the 30s, it felt like. No frost this morning, but uh, nice morning. Hey, what a good morning. The wind has died down. It was a very calm and peaceful night last night. Nothing but a few turkeys and a few cows. But other than that, got a pretty restful night's sleep. And learned a number of things about our gear. Um, it performed quite well, all of it. But just from a... An efficiency standpoint there's some things that both Rebecca and I can improve upon and so this was a pretty good first outing with all of that gear just to kind of shake those things out and that's what was the intent of coming out here today um, 
aside from the fact that it's beautiful and we had the whole place to ourselves. So yeah, we're gonna head on back in and grab a little breakfast once we get back into town. But anyhow, thanks for checking in. We'll see ya.